This video is about the digestive system. The role of the digestive system in your body is to break down your food and then absorb it in through your blood and take it throughout your body to build you. The digestive system begins in the mouth where the teeth, tongue, and salivary glands break down your food physically and chemically. Once it's broken down there, it's gonna go down the pharynx, which is like your throat, which leads to the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that carries your food from your mouth to your stomach. Your stomach also physically and chemically digests your food even further with acids. After your food is even more digested, it's going to move into the small intestine. Now the name of this digested food, partially digested food from the stomach and all of its juices is called chyme, C-H-Y-M-E. That chyme is going to leave the stomach again and go into the small intestine. The first part of the small intestine is a place where the liver, which makes bile, and bile is stored in the gallbladder, bile gets put into the small intestine to help with chemical digestion, and the pancreas secretes all kinds of other enzymes into the small intestine at the beginning of it for also some more chemical digestion. Then it moves farther down the small intestine, that's where it absorbs the nutrients, and then your waste moves on through your large intestine where water is absorbed, and then feces, which is your final waste material, is stored in your rectum until it's time to release it, and when it does, it's gonna leave your body through a muscular sphincter called your anus. Your body also has an appendix, which isn't used in your digestion now here in 2014, but it was in early evolutionary history. Here are some details about the digestive system. First of all, your mouth is a site for two kinds of digestion. Physical, which is your chewing motion that's gonna happen from your molars, the teeth in the back of your mouth, and chemical digestion using your saliva. So saliva isn't just water, it's actually water and an enzyme called amylase, A-M-Y-L-A-S-E. And amylase is a carbohydrate, which means it's an enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates. Anytime you see A-S-E in a word, it's usually a good indication that it's an enzyme. Once your mouth has physically and chemically digested your food, right, it's going to move down your esophagus. Your esophagus actually is a very specific name for the process in which it carries food to your stomach. And that's called peristalsis. And so that's the actual squeezing action of the muscles around your esophagus that take food from your mouth to your stomach. Once your food is in your stomach, there are two ways, physical and chemical, two ways that your food is even further digested. In your stomach, you actually have m muscles that will contract and churn your food. And then you have hydrochloric acid, which is also in your stomach, which will further break down all your food molecules, right? Then you have that slurry of digested food and juice called chyme, and that's going to move into your small intestine. But as I said earlier, there are organs that produce enzymes that help us break down that food farther. Okay, the first one of those is the liver. The liver is a really large organ, and it sits right here. It's about three pounds. It's really big. And its job is to detoxify your blood and, when it comes to digestion, make a chemical called bile, or a fluid called bile. This bile is then stored in the gallbladder, which is just like a little pouch right next to the liver. And when it is time to digest food, the gallbladder empties the bile from itself into the first part of the small intestine. So bile, all this bile talk, okay? Bile is a fluid that contains lipase, and lipase is a, or lipase, a enzyme that breaks down lipids. So bile contains lipase, it's gonna break your lipids into glycerol and fatty acids. They're lipid building blocks.
Another important organ, similar to the liver, in that it excretes or it secretes enzymes into your small intestine, is the pancreas. The pancreas secretes all kinds of enzymes. It has carbohydrates, enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteases, enzymes that break down proteins, lipases that break down lipids, and nucleases, which break down nucleic acids, like DNA and RNA. Again, the liver and gallbladder are releasing their enzymes into the first part of the small intestine. So the first role of the small intestine is it's a site for further chemical digestion, but that's just like a small part of it. Then the rest of the long tube that is your small intestine, it's about 22 feet long. Its job is to absorb all those nutrient monomers and send them to the bloodstream. Another absorptive organ is the large intestine. So once your food has been broken down a lot, those nutrients have been absorbed by your small intestine, you still have lots of other undigested food and liquids. So that's going to move into the large intestine where water is going to be absorbed from that waste. And I think it's the coolest. There are trillions of bacteria that live in your large intestine symbiotically, meaning you help them and they help you. And they help you break down some of that undigestible food. And they also can synthesize vitamins like vitamin K and we absorb those, those last remnants of possibly digested nutrients through our large intestine, but primarily we absorb water. Finally, right, our all the leftover waste stored in the rectum expelled through the anus. But there's also this little organ called the appendix. And the appendix is a vestigial organ. Vestigial means it used to have a role back in evolutionary history it used to have a job in our body, but now it doesn't. So the appendix back in early humanity used to help us break down plant material like cellulose, which is very hard to digest. So these are a lot of the specifics of the digestive system.